Nestled in the historic village of Hanover, Connecticut, stands a testament to transformation and vision. The old dilapidated church that once echoed with hymns now resonates with the life of a modern, luxurious home. Heather and George Bassett, the creative duo behind Team Bassett, have masterfully reimagined this historic structure into a sanctuary of comfort and style. This is a story of turning the forgotten into the unforgettable. Hi, I'm Heather Bassett. Hi, I'm George Bassett. And we are Team Bassett Realty. This was St. Joseph's Missions Church, and it was founded by the wool workers and the owner of the wool mill that was with all this mill housing here. Yeah. And they needed a place to worship, so they built this as St. Joseph's Missions Church. And we like unique things, though. Yeah, so she's like, this so is pretty cool. Maybe we should go take a look. And I said, sure, why not? Because I like different things. We like different things. And we had done a previous school bus conversion. Yeah. And that was that school bus was in terrible condition. That was an old Brooklyn public school school bus. And, you know, we had done that. And that was so cool because we did something unconventional. And we found a lot. We found like it to be rewarding. Mm. So we thought this is also unconventional. When we had bought it, it was really in rough shape. And it was also full of stuff at the time as well. So lots of stuff. Yeah, lots and lots of lots stuff. Lots of stuff. Behind us where the front doors are, there was an, a loading dock and an overhead door for bringing in big deliveries of wood and shipping out cabinetry. So with our windows, we wanted to restore them. And a lot of the original windows were taken out and replaced with plexiglass. So we ended up taking what we had rehabbing one side here, and then we decided to go with four eight-foot French doors out onto a massive deck. But the outcome is it's fantastic. Exactly, yeah. and you have an 800 square foot deck that is just going to, you know, overlooking trees and the neighbor's cows, and it's just like so peaceful. And, and sometimes our kids will chime in with their ideas. Our uh, ideas for the basement are maybe in-ground pool, or a gym, or a game room, or um, maybe a hockey area or something like that. And one last thing, an ordinary jungle. So this is where the church's sanctuary was, where all the pews were located, where people would come in and sit down in the center aisle. Obviously that's gone now, um, but we were able to restore the Douglas fir flooring in here and also kind of take advantage of the church's natural um, history and the beans in this. And we wanted this to just feel like an awesome space to entertain or live. Um, in here. And what we wanted to really do is to extend the living space outside. So we put in these beautiful doors in this overhang here to an 800 square foot deck. We custom built this table for this space because we wanted uh, to show people that, um, you know, this can really fit a lot of people and um, we wanted it to be here already. And we couldn't find this online anywhere to buy. So we had to make that. So this is the main kitchen and we wanted to do the two sinks with the two islands and plenty of counter seating for people, but we wanted to make it very, very functional. So we did the 48 inch range. We wanted to have a really massive sink. So I got this very, very large copper sink here. So we put in a fan system that is very unique. Um, it has one motor over there and it has the pulley system from that motor to motorize all four of these fans. So this was the choir loft of the church at one time. Um, and we created sort of like a rec room up here. We wanted it to be an extension of the living space since our, we were talking to our kids about it and they said, oh, it would be so cool if we had a pool table up there. So I staged it with this pool table and uh, we wanted this to kind of be a hangout area. 
So the, the way we had to lay it out was walking directly into the primary closet. And this space turned out awesome. Um, we have tons and tons of storage here. And it's kind of like you walk in to your own personal oasis. We decided to make this the bathroom. And so we wanted to also kind of transform it to be luxurious and to, um, to feel like you're almost like in a fancy hotel or something like that. Um, so we did the double vanity, the soaking tub, and then the shower right here um, and kind of tried to incorporate all of it. And then we did, um, this is new kind of, but we mimicked the double door here. We wanted to do a double door into the bedroom itself um, to kind of expand that space. And then we decided to do a private screened in deck. All right, so this is the west wing of the church. This is originally where the pastors had their offices and we wanted to make a little secondary butler's kitchen here. We wanted to make a little bit of a living hangout space here uh, and a little bit more informal than the space out there. And we ended up having three bedrooms um, in this space and one and a half bathrooms. So the living area and then three and one and a half. Overall, it was a fun project, I would say. It's, I'm, I'm glad we did it, I'm glad we did it. It was, it was a huge learning experience for sure. Yes. We feel like we built this house as if we would move into it. So we know that whoever would buy this is going to love it and cherish this thing and have great memories here. Yeah. So. As the sun sets on the village of Hanover, we part ways with a home that has transformed from a historical relic to a beacon of contemporary grace. Heather and George Bassett, with their visionary touch, have woven history and luxury into every corner, crafting not just a house, but a narrative of revival and beauty. For Team Bassett, this journey has been one of lasting memories where each conclusion is but the dawn of a fresh start.